Today on our 2018 Ram 1500, we're going to be taking a look at the DrawTight Class 5 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 41948. So here's what our hitch looks like fully installed. Now the cross tube is going to sit right below the bumper, but it is going to blend in nicely underneath since it is that black powder coat finish. Now it's a Class 5 hitch, and it's going to give us a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. It's got that reinforced collar giving it more strength and just an overall finished look. Now the way we're going to mount all of our accessories is going to be this hole towards the front of our truck and it's going to use a standard 5 ace pin and clip. Now they're not included but you can pick one up on our website using part number PC3. Now the secondary hole back here towards the rear of our truck it's going to be for the J-pin stabilization device, which is going to be nice for any of those accessories that you have that don't have a built-in anti-rattle, keeping them nice and secure inside the receiver tube. So here's what the J-pin looks like. It's going to go in just like a normal pin and clip would from one side. And then on the inside, it's going to have that other secondary tab that's going to come around. It's going to apply pressure to your accessory, keeping it from rattling around on the inside of your receiver tube. And it's going to apply that pressure because we're going to come to the other side of the pin and we're going to have a nut that we're going to be able to secure down and keep everything nice and tight. And then it's also a locking device so we're going to keep all of our accessories nice and secure. Now the safety chain connection points are going to be on the bottom of our hitch here and they're going to be rather large. It's going to be a plate style and as you can see I can almost get my entire fist around them. But keep in mind, since they are so big, that lip between the outside and the inside edge is going to be rather large. So you want to make sure that you have some larger hooks because the smaller ones might not be able to clear that. Now our hitch is an extra heavy duty hitch. It is a class five again, and it's going to give us a 1500 pound tongue weight along with 12,000 pounds of gross trailer weight rating. Now it is designed to work with weight distribution systems. The tongue weight is going to stay the same at 1500, but it's going to bump the gross trailer weight rating up to 15,000 pounds. Now with that in mind, I do want to mention that you always want to double check your vehicle's owner's manual and never exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. I'd like to give you a few measurements that will help you when deciding for accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or even a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is going to be right about 5 inches. And from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be right about 19 and 3 quarter inches. Now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, I went ahead and removed our spare tire just so you can see a little bit better and I have a little bit more headroom to work. Now if we come to the outside edge of our bumper area, when we come just right behind our chrome bumper, we're going to have two bolts that we're going to have to remove, one at the very back of our vehicle, and then one right on the other side. I'm going to be using a 21 millimeter socket to remove those two bolts. Now with these two removed, we're going to have another two on the other side that we're going to have to pull out as well. Now you're going to want to hold on to these bolts because we will be reusing them. So if we move forward on our frame rail from where we took out that last bolt, we're going to have a rather large hole that's in the frame. And we're going to want to take our pull wire and take the coiled end and we're going to take a spacer block and slide it over the coiled end and then thread one of our carriage bolts onto the coiled end. And we can feed this, the carriage bolts into the frame and then follow that up with the spacer and we're going to want to pull it down so that carriage bolt engages that block. Now we're going to have the same hole on the other side as well so we can repeat that over there too. Now behind our license plate where our bumper support is we're going to have two oblong holes and these are also going to be where our hardware is going to be going but we're not going to be able to get our hardware in the same way that we did in the other spots. It's going to be very close but we're not going to be able to get the hardware in like that. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take our fish wire, we're going to take the coiled end and we're going to feed it through. And we're going to go over to the end of our frame towards the outside of our vehicle. You just want to keep pushing until that coiled end pops out of the frame support here. You can take your spacer block, you're going to go over the coiled end 
and throw that carriage bolt on just like we did earlier. Then we're going to feed it back into the frame. You're going to pull that pull wire all the way until that bolt is sticking out. And we'll repeat that for the other hole as well. Now that we have all of our hardware in place, I'm actually going to push these bolts back into the frame just a little bit so that we can actually get our hitch put into place. Now with the next set of hands, we're going to get our hitch into position. And you're going to want to feed your pull wires into the corresponding holes. And on the side tabs here, we're not going to be using the very back hole or the one closest to the front. So we're going to go through that middle hole here. Now you're going to want to take one of your factory bolts. We're going to put it in hand tight just to support the hitch. You want to get at least one in on each side. And then we can work on getting the rest of the hardware in place. Now with that bolt supporting our hitch, we pull the front section towards the front of our cab down so it's away from the frame here because we're going to have to actually put in a half inch flat washer. So I'm going to take my pull wire, I'm going to pull it out from the hitch to the outside of the hitch and slide that washer in place so that I can get it in between the hitch and the frame. Then you're going to want to go back through the hitch and pull everything back through. Then we can push the hitch back into place and re-secure that bolt. So we can pull that pull wire off and we're going to be securing our hitch on the forward attachment point using a conical tooth washer. Make sure the teeth are facing up towards the hitch. And then we're gonna secure it down with a nut. Now a quick tip to help you get that nut in place and keep the bolt still. If you push on the washer, it'll trap it, making it a little bit easier getting it in place. And we'll do that for both sides. On the back side, if you haven't already, you can go ahead and pull your bolts through. We're going to remove the pull wires from our bolts and then we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to take a conical tooth washer and you're going to make sure that they're facing towards the hitch and secure it down with another nut. And we'll do that for the other remaining bolt as well. Just want to mention you want to be careful not to push the bolt back into the frame and drop it. So we should only have one more bolt on each side and that's going to be that factory bolt. We're going to put it back in the position and we can snug up all of our hardware. Using that same 21 millimeter socket, I'm going to snug up all those factory M14 bolts. I'm going to come back with a 3 quarter inch socket and tighten up all my half inch hardware. So I'm going to come back with that same 3 quarter inch socket and I'm going to torque down all of my half inch hardware to the specified amount in the instructions. And I'm going to repeat that for all the remaining hardware. I'm going to make sure to torque the M14 hardware as well. That will finish up your look at the draw tight class 5 custom fit trailer hitch receiver part number 41948 on our 2018 ram 1500